Hi, this video I will show how to flash the firmware on the TF1260 or actually TF30 and every any TF card or any setting CPLD using the 95 series like the 95288 here uh, using an FDTI zero cable, has quite easy cable. This one is an uh, C through 232HM DDHSL dash zero um, and as you can see the programming via that place there and I haven't connected any header or anything like that you can solder in a header here and push the connectors like this uh, that way or like me just take a header like this take the connectors on here and have it loose like this so I can Put it in here and while programming it i just hold the finger so it's dead there and yeah program it and no connected needs to be soldered etc it's pointless and on screen you can see the pinout you will use uh, the tms is closest to the id so that's brown then yellow green orange black and the red red one is power uh, I do not use that one uh, because I do not want to power the card from the adapter cable and the USB uh, as it actually also powers the O60. So I would recommend to doing it via powering on the Amiga instead. But it's up to you. Um, some people say it works, some have issues with it. I had issues with it so I skip it and power from the Amiga instead while programming it. So I will now go how to download the software on a Windows machine and install the software and then we go into the flash process as well. And it's the easiest way. And here uh, is my Windows screen and I'm already at the ftdiship.com site. That you can actually I think you can buy the cables here as well anyway this is the original manufacturer of this uh, cable and to get the drivers you go to drivers and d2xx drivers and you just download them here so nothing special with that uh, and Right click and extract all. Double click on it. Yes. Extract. And install it. Like that. Now you can actually put the cable in in the machine. I did now. And Next is the software needed. <clears throat> and then for the software, uh, I have a link here, but I will show it in the description below as well. It's swordforge.net slash project slash xc3sprog. And you download it. You have to wait for some reason because webmasters are stupid. Um, yep, yeah, download it and right click I have used 7-zip to extract it because of some reason they slept releases the tar files on Windows so you need to do it twice because why not and that's it this is program to be used you can see it flashed by okay that's fine uh, actually I have it already downloaded here on uh, here but I want to show you. this is all that is needed I have the files here for this firmware and I have this flash file and, and that's actually a just a script file um, of the commands commands you will use uh, xc3sprog 
uh, dash C, let's show what cable it is, FTDI, and uh, slash L, uh, I can't remember actually what it does, uh, slash V, uh, shows uh, for both what it is, um, slash P0, it's his uh, first CPLD, and what file it uses to use programming, and then the next one. So this is actually it. Uh, I will also have this script on in the description so it's much easier for you to see. Anyway, um, now it's just time to program the card. I will do that here soon. Wait. Yep, this is my setup. You can see my dos prompt here and the card here. So I'm pushing my connector here and as I do not power the board, I have the well spin there unpopulated. I put in the connector, I push the connector that way so I have a good connection and I power on the machine it will and then I I do my flash script. Yeah, just here. You can see it on screen as well there. And it programs the first TPLD. Verifies and then second. And verifies. And that's it. Then power off the Amiga. Uh, we'll. Uh, up like this and see if I can do like that and power on them again and we can see that it actually boots and you can have a guru here because the memory is still yeah didn't like the flashing meanwhile and the memory actually is kept on the Amiga for a while after power on power off so it's fully normal to get get an guru there and well, it boots here, as you can see. And as a teaser, I will show you the new beta firmware. Let's see if this card handles 100 megahertz. Yeah, as you can see, it seems to work. So, in short, that was how we flash it. And I will just go around. We'll let this one go so you can see some nice numbers here. You can see that uh, the ship mem access have been improved as well. And it takes time. can see here those speeds are 6.9 and usually around around 7 megabyte per second on to the ship and that's the theoretical max anyway uh, that's it that's enough of that teaser and I will uh, do like this professional as usual and uh, just I want to show you the here. So this uh, spelling uh, bad as usual. So what you do is actually you run the xc3 as prog file. No. Or you do like me, do a bat file like this and run the flash program. And it flashes it more or less automatically. You can also, if you want to, um, I now done the extremely low resolution on this machine, so it better. You can actually also, if you want to do the other way, you can uh, just uh, create the flash file in Notepad like this. Save it, have it all files here. Power on the Amiga, you can actually 
clear sheet by double checking the script file if you don't want to do do sheet and it works like that and you can do many cards like this so hope this was uh, useful information and i think this is by far the easiest way on a windows machine to flash the cplds uh, thank you for watching and have a good day